Hi, welcome everybody, it's Libby. Today's practice is going to be a seated exercise session uh, using the energy of um, Qigong and yoga. Okay, so these two combinations are working on the energy of the body and they're going to create an upliftment. So you're going to feel a lot more energised. Um, you're going to work on the posture. We're going to work on all elements of the body, the breath, um, the, the, the movement of the body, and we're also going to work on some strength. Um, I'm going to be just going over, first of all, a little bit of like rules, so make sure that we're doing this properly um, because it's important that we keep our back nice and straight and it's important that we've got a good position of our legs, okay? So I'm just going to sit back slightly so you can see me a little bit better. Okay, so without a block underneath my feet, I've got a block underneath my feet. Without that block, my knees are going to be quite low, okay? They're going to be lower than the hip joints. So when you, when you sit in a chair, you always want to make sure that your knee is in line with the hip joint. So even if you're just sitting doing nothing, you always need to make sure that your feet are elevated. If you, especially if you've got little legs like me, my legs tend to dangle off the chair. And that's important because it's about flowing energy. So if my legs are too low, the energy's not going to flow very well. And I'm also going to concord, could cause uh, injuries to my knees and, and so on, my joints. Okay, then I make sure the spine is nice and straight, that I'm not slouching at the back, my back isn't touching the back of the chair, like so, it's nice and straight. I'm sitting on a, a kitchen chair with a hard back, okay, a flat back, and it's, it's nice and stable. So I make sure that I'm in a position on the chair, and I'm on the floor and it's not going to wobble. What you don't want is to be on a wobbly surface. So make sure that your chair that you've chosen is suitable to exercise on. You cannot exercise in an armchair or a chair with big, arm, you know, like a sofa type chair. That's not going to be suitable. You need to have no arms on the chair. and so completely armless. Okay. <laughs> so before we start, we're going to make sure that we've got a nice straight spine, the hands are going to sit on the knees and we're going to close our eyes. Okay, so just take a nice long deep breath in. We're breathing in through the nose and we're breathing out through the nose. We're not using the mouth to breathe in any way. We're inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the nose. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to take a nice long deep breath in, a little pause as we hold the breath. And as we exhale, we're making the exhalation that little bit longer. So we may be breathing into the count of four. We may be holding the breath for one, two. And then as we breathe out, we're going to breathe out up to the count of seven. Breathe into four. Hold in one, two. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. If that seven is too long, do it to five or even three. Okay, some people's breath going out is quite shallow. So make sure you're taking a big deep breath in to the count of four. Hold, one, two, exhale, long and slow. Imagine you're taking energy all the way down through your feet and you're really grounding yourself and taking another couple of breaths. You can imagine yourself standing or sitting in a forest, so your feet are on the floor in the earth. So really connecting down, down, down into your roots. Feel yourself nice and anchored before you start. And then as you next breathe in, just bring the energy up back into your physical body and feel yourself nice and straight, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create some circles in the body, so just warming up the spine. So we're gonna come forward as you breathe in, and exhale back. So we're coming forward as we breathe in, making a circular movement. My hands are on my knees and I'm exhaling back. Inhale, coming forward and round and exhale. So you can take a breath into half the circle and exhale. Or you can take a full breath into the circle and a full breath out of the circle. Try and keep the chin tucking in so you're not jutting the chin out, making sure that the spine is nice and straight. Close in your eyes if you need to and try to take your energy inside. If you find that it's, you know, you need to watch the video, then I don't mind you keeping your eyes open. But really, it's quite nice to close your eyes, just feel the movement into your body. You can turn it into like a bit of a, a meditation. So you inhale in and exhale.
Okay, then come back to centre, take a breath in and exhale. And then we'll go the other way, breathing in nice big circles. This time if you want to, you can come a little bit further forward, but make sure you keep your buttocks on the chair, feet nice and grounded on the floor, and working from the centre of your core. So you're working from the core muscles, slightly always engaging the belly button back towards the spine. That protects your back. Closing the eyes if you can. And as you practice this a few times on this video, you'll get into that feeling of you can actually feel okay to close your eyes and trust that your body can do what it wants without seeing me on the, on the screen. Just listening to my voice. Okay, then come back to centre, take a breath in, hold the breath, and exhale, let your shoulders relax and let go. Okay, I'm going to turn to my side, I'm still going to use some support underneath my feet, so I'm just using another cushion, I'm popping the hands on the, the, on the knees and the feet are on the cushion, making sure that your knee is in line with the hip joint still, we're going to inhale and we're going to flex the body forward and then we're going to round the spine, so we inhale coming forward and exhale round. Inhale forward and exhale round. Inhale forward and exhale round. Closing the eyes, inhale and exhale. Inhaling and exhale. Inhaling and exhale. So this is a lovely one to get a bit of flexibility into your spine. If you find the spine feels a little bit tight, this is gonna bring a bit of loosening and helping with your mobility. Inhale and exhale. Okay, just gonna come back to the front. So I'm gonna continue. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Make sure you're not too far back on the chair, otherwise you tend to sort of slouch. Yeah. So even though you're rounding the back, make sure you're not too far back. So inhale forward. Exhale back, inhale forward, and exhale back. This is actually called camel ride. So if any of you have ever ridden a camel, you sort of get that rhythm of moving forward and back and take you back to that place when you were riding the camel, maybe on a nice beach somewhere. I remember riding a camel with my friend in Morocco and um, it was very strange. <laughs> My camel decided he wanted to go into the water, into the sea, so we ended up sort of a lot of water around me, which was a little bit scary. <laughs> Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. But adds to the fun, hey? Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. And then inhale as you come back. Big breath in. Keep the chin tucking in. Pull up the, um, squeeze the butter cheeks together. Pull up the energy. Imagine me squeezing. Squeezing those buttocks, bringing the energy right up, right to the crown of the head, and exhale, wish release. <clears throat> okay, so the next movement is going to add a little twist. So my hands are going to come onto my shoulders, my thumbs are pulling back, my fingers are above the front of the, the shoulder there, and they're both on the, on the shoulders. The elbows are level with the armpits, so we're going to go left to right, so we're inhaling left, exhale right, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Try and keep the back nice and straight. And again, try not to start to slouch the body. Lifting up, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. And again, you can close your eyes. If you find yourself sort of moving a little bit in the hip joints, then you can bring the knees together and kind of squeeze your knees together. And that will keep your knees nice and stable and it will stop you twisting in the hips. So inhale left, exhale right. This movement's more in the upper body rather than the lower body, okay? so. The buttocks are kind of staying where they are. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. You can go slowly, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Or you can add a little bit more movement and go a little bit quicker. Okay, just continue.
And then inhale to center. Again, take a nice long deep breath in. Squeeze your knees together, pull the buttock cheeks up, squeeze the buttocks together. And exhale as you release. Okay, so we're going to do a little bit of a side bend. So you're going to place your hand on the outside of the, the chair on the right hand side. So your right hand's holding the right side of the chair. The left arm's going to come up, it's going to go over the head, and we're going to take a side stretch. You can keep your eyes looking forward. We're going to inhale as we come back and exhale down. We'll inhale as the arm comes up, exhale, eyes looking forward and exhale down. So you're just going to continue. Really open up the side of the waist. If you find it too much, you can place your hand on your ear and take a slightly simpler little movement, little, or you can just slide from side to side if that feels okay. If you find you've got any shoulder problems, you can't bring your hands up, then just go from side to side and just working on letting everything go. Okay, so stretching it over and exhale. Okay, just one more time on either side. Remember, you're just ending on the opposite side that you started with and then place the hands down on the side of the chair. Okay, so we're going to stand up and we're going to just, I'm just going to move the chair slightly away so that you can see me. Okay, so we're going to do some what's called tapping. And tapping is an ancient technique, it comes from Tai Chi and Qigong. And it, it's actually, the practice is called doing. And what we're going to do is we're going to tap the body, various places, and we're going to create a flowing energy, okay? So before we start, we're going to rub the hands together to stimulate the finger pads and stimulate the palms of the hands, and also just to get some heat in the body, some energy. <clears throat> just looking outside, it's a beautiful sunny, sunny day here in the UK. It's March 2020. And we're going to take the finger pads and we're going to lightly tap all the way around the top of the head. All the way around. Keep it nice and flowing. And then we're going to tap around the chest. Okay, so just tapping around the chest. Okay, and then taking the fingers and we're going to stroke them down the breastbone two or three times, just down the centre of the chest. And then taking the right hand and make it like a little cup. So the fingers are together, making like a little cup on your hand. And you're going to come across your shoulder. You're going to come down your arm, over the hand, on the inside, and up the inside of the armpit. Okay? Then down the right side, up the inside, underneath the armpit. Then taking the flat of the hands, again, kind of making a cup. You're going to come down from the hip bones and then go all the way down. To your feet, you're stroking over the feet and coming up the inside by the ankle and coming all the way up through your butt. Okay, and we'll start again. So, this is just nice to do on its own in the morning, just for a couple of minutes when you wake up. It just wakes you up, gets your energy flowing, and just breathing normally. No particular breath here, but just make sure you're keeping that tapping going, and then we're going to tap. Cross the chest, get the energy moving. Tapping, tapping, tapping. Then down the breastbone two or three times, and then cupping the right hand, coming down the arm, up the inside, underneath the armpit, down the other side, up the inside, underneath the armpit. Then taking the hands on the hip joint, coming down the legs. Bending the knees, if you can't reach all the way down, that's absolutely fine. Stroking over wherever you can, over the feet, coming up the inside of the thighs, all the way to the top. And we'll go back to the start. Okay, tap him. Get the energy moving. Lovely. And you can smile. Okay, then tap in the chest. And then stroking down the breastbone two or three times, cupping the right hand, coming down the left arm, up the inside, and down the arms. Now, is there a little bit of a, a thought here? 
if you can't do this standing, you can do it sitting. You can do this in a chair sitting. Now you still get the same benefits, top of the head. All of the movements of the following movements all can be done sitting in a chair, so you don't have to stand, okay? If you can stand, that's fantastic. You might want to have a chair next to you for a bit of support. Tap in the chest, so if you feel a bit wobbly, you've got something to hold on to, okay? So make sure you're safe. Stroking down the breastbone two or three times, then coming down the arm, from the side, and keep going, okay? Down the legs, over the feet, not the inside. I'm going to do one more. Okay, tap of the head, top of the head. Tapping around the head, down the chest. So this is breaking up stagnation in the chest. This is really good to work your chest, get some energy moving down the breastbone two or three times, cupping the right hand, coming down the left arm. Up the inside, down the other side, and down the legs. Stroking over the feet, up the inside of the legs, and then give yourself a little shake. Shake your legs, shake your arms. So again, as I said, you can do these movements standing, or you can do it sitting. For the next movement, the knees are going to be slightly softened, the knees are soft, and we're just going to lightly just swing from side to side. So if you're doing it in a chair, you can just move the arms from side to side. So please make, feel free to sit down if you find this is too much standing. You know, I'm, I'm a very aware seated exercise is for everybody, but there are some people that find it difficult to stand for very long. So I want to keep you moving. I want you to keep you healthy and happy. So wherever you are, so keep going. These are called Tai Chi swings. So you can just swing from side to side, let the arms swing around. And what they'll do is they'll sort of hit the body into certain areas. And this is working on, again, breaking up that stagnation. Okay, so just let the head flow. You can look all the way around behind you if you're a bit more flexible. Just normal breathing. With Tai Chi and Qigong, the breath isn't really done with the movement, it's just a, a breath in and out, it's just a normal breathing. Okay, and then just lightly stop the movement, don't automatically stop, just let the arms stop in their rhythm and just let them come back to balance. Bring the legs back together again for a moment. <coughs> okay, how are we doing? Are we all alright? So what we're going to do is we're going to do some swings of the arms. So this is really good for the lungs. It's going to help you to breathe deeper. We're going to take the thumb to the, in the first finger, the index finger on both hands. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create a swinging movement. Turn to the side, you'll see. So the arms are going to come up and they're coming forward. So we're lifting them up as you breathe in and exhale forward. So we're inhaling as we lift up and exhale down. Inhaling right up and exhale down. So lifting those arms right high and exhale. Just two or three more. Inhale and exhale. And last one. Inhaling, stretch and exhale as you come down. So changing the positions of the hands, the thumb is going to fold across the palm of the hand on both sides and you're going to wrap the hands around so you're making like a, a fist with the thumb inside the fist. Now this time we're going to be coming backwards, so we're going to be coming back and round. So inhaling up and exhale back. Inhaling up and exhale back. So we're inhaling and exhale. So make it nice and big and really open up those shoulders. Squeeze in the hands and this is activating some, again, some meridians in the, the body. Deepens the breath. Inhale, exhale.
And last one, inhale in. And exhale as you come down. And give your hands a little shake and release. Okay, so the next movement is called lifting the sky. I'm going to just sit for a moment to show you this one. You can do it standing, but I'm aware you can't see it too well with the video. So I'm going to go back to standing, but I'll demonstrate it sitting. You will be standing, okay? So your hands are going to be about an inch apart. So you either choose to stand or sit. The hands are an inch apart. We're going to inhale as we stretch the arms up above, pressing the palms to the sky. And then as you exhale, it's breath out through the mouth. Is a ah, you sigh the arms down. Okay, so the fingers come slightly coming together, breathing in as you take the arms right up and exhale and ah, and just let go. Okay, so I'm going to come back to hand in and continue. So we're inhaling as we stretch tall and exhale and ah. And exhale. This is called lift in the sky. I'm going to continue inhaling. One more. You can do a lot longer here. You could pause the video and do a few more if you're enjoying it. <coughs> and exhale as you come down. Okay, so I'm going to move my chair slightly and just come back a bit so you can see more of the movement. So the next movement, the feet are slightly apart, the hands as if you are holding a ball. So the palms are um, right hand is facing down and the left hand is facing up as if you were carrying a ball. Okay. So as I breathe in, my left hand's going to come down to the side of the hip and the right hand's going to go up to the sky. Again, if I just sit, you'll see better. Okay, so the ball's there, so the hand is going to go to the hip and the other hand is going up to the sky. So we're inhaling as we come back to the ball and then this hand comes down as if it's bound to the ball and the left hand is up to the sky. So we're inhaling and then we're changing the direction. So whether you're standing or sitting, we continue. So we're inhaling as the hands come to the ball and exhale as it comes back. So it's a little bit of a coordination. It's a little bit like rubbing your tummy and patting your head in a way. But it's good because it helps you to start to coordinate. Breathing in as the hands come back together. Well, they're not quite together as if you're holding a ball and stretching out. Okay, so it's called heaven and earth. Inhaling. And exhale. So take it nice and straight. So the hand, this hand is down by the side of you as if you bounce the ball, and the other hand is up to the sky. Just a couple more. Inhale in, stretch, and exhale, and inhale in, and exhale, and then one more. High the side, stretch it. Try not to twist. Back is nice and straight. Inhale in. And exhale. Do it your own time, don't rush. And then come back to centre and bring as if you're holding the ball. And this time the ball is kind of in front of you. So we're going to <clears throat> bring the ball as if we were down to the side. We're going to exhale as we come down. The ball is going to touch the floor. Imagine the ball is touching the floor. And then we're going to bend the knees and we're going to bring the ball up. We're taking it above the head. And then we're exhaling as we circle it round. So holding the ball, inhale, taking it down to the floor and then bringing it up through the body. It gets to the heart and then the hands turn as you press the palms to the ceiling and exhale as you breathe out. Okay, so inhale, exhale, taking the ball down, soften the knees, breathing in, bringing that energy up, stretch the sky and exhale and and just continue, just a few more breaths. Inhale, taking the ball down. 
Come in up, inhale as you bring the ball up, take it up to the sky, stretch it nice and long, and exhale. Just a couple more, breathing in. Slow it down now, exhale. Inhale as you take the ball up, stretch it to the sky, and exhale, and Okay, just let the body relax, and then we're going to come back to sitting. So coming back onto your chair, and make sure you've got your support underneath your feet. Okay, so the next movement is going to be circling around the head. So I'm just going to move myself a little bit forward to the, so you can see. Okay, that's a bit better. Okay, so make sure again you're not sitting right at the back of the chair. The back is supported without being on the back of the chair. The hands are on the knees, on the thighs, and we're going to drop the chin down. We're going to create a circle. We're going to take the head back, take it all the way back, back to the forward position. So we're rolling the head back as you breathe in, taking it all the way back and forward, inhaling. And okay, so. Nice and long and deep with that breath. Circling around, so I'm getting a bit of tension. You might find that when you do this, you get like little clicks and cracks into the neck. That's absolutely fine. What it is, it's just like little deposits, just breaking up. Okay, let's come back and let's focus on going the other way. Try not to rush this, it's slow. It's very good. To release any tension in the back of the neck. If you suffer with headaches or don't sleep very well, this will help just to open up that energy around the back of the neck. And a lot of these movements, you can just do them separately. So you could do this one as you sit in the chair, if your neck's a bit tight, and just coming back. Okay, so we're just going to take another little breath in. We're going to inhale, and then we're going to take the head to look over the right shoulder. We're going to come back to centre and then take the head over to the left. Inhale back to centre and exhale as you take the head to the right. Inhale back to centre and to the left. Inhale to centre and exhale. Just a couple more in your own time. And then come back to centre, take a breath in and exhale, close your eyes. Again, just feel yourself grounded nicely down into the floor. Just be very aware of your body. Okay, so the next movement is going to go back a fraction so you can see. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use a little ball. Okay, so if you've got a ball, that would be fine. If you haven't got a ball, it's not a problem. You can just imagine a ball. But for visualisation and for you to see, you probably find it a little bit easier to follow the ball. You don't need to have a ball, you can imagine you're holding the ball. Okay, so we're going to take the ball up and we're going to come down to the centre and then come up. So we're following the direction of the ball, we're inhaling, we're going to exhale down to halfway and then we're coming up, inhaling. Now bear in mind, you don't have to go all the way down, you can just come up you can even just skim across your knees and come up. You're just moving the body, inhaling, exhale, inhale halfway round and exhale and down. So inhaling round, exhale down, inhale. If you can go all the way down, you're coming down. Okay, so make that the next movement to the centre, inhale, and then we'll go the other way. Exhale all the way halfway and inhale and exhale. Again, if you find you don't want to go too far down, you can just go a small little circle. But see how it's open at the sides of the waist? This is called windmill. And just most important thing is to go nice and slowly and focus on the breath. And then come back to centre, inhale, and exhale down. Okay? Just 
just going to work a little bit into the shoulders. Okay, so the next movement, I'm going to place the hands onto the knees, on the thighs. We're going to inhale, taking the arm up, and then we're going to exhale as we follow it back to look into the hand behind you. You're going to come back up, looking at the palm of the hand, and exhale as you bring it down. So you're going to inhale, looking up to the, to the back of the hand, and exhale as you take it back. Inhale as it comes up and exhale and down. So it's inhaling and exhale, inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale, looking back at the back hand, inhaling up and exhale. Try to go to the rhythm of your breath. Remember, your breath is your own breath, nobody else's. So if your breath is going a bit slower, then just go to that rhythm. I'm just going to do one more on either side. And then just come back to centre. Take a breath in and exhale. Okay, so we're going to do a little bit of a squat. So what I suggest is we're going to use the back of the chair to hold on to. And we're going to be doing a little squat. Yeah. So we're going to inhale here. We're going to exhale as we come down. So it's just a little squat. So it's inhale and exhale. Inhaling up and exhale, squat. Inhaling up and exhale, squat. So try to keep the back nice and straight. You can imagine the top of the head is going up to the sky. It's not doing it like this. Look, yeah? So we go nice and straight. Inhaling and exhale. Okay, so it's really good for building up some strength in the legs. And then inhale and exhale. Just coming back onto your chair, <coughs> making sure we've got a nice sitting position, placing the hands on top of the thighs. And we're going to settle back into the back of the chair. And we're going to do a little bit of a, a relaxation, a little bit of breathing. So it's going to come a little bit further forward so you can hear me a little bit better. So I'm going to shout. Okay. Right. So I want you to make sure you're comfortable. And now you can actually sit with your back against the chair. But again, you don't want to be slumping. You want to make sure that your rib cage is nice and open. If you need to put a cushion at the back of you, that's fine. And we're going to place the hands onto the belly. So your fingers are spread as if your fingers are going to be slightly touching. <coughs> the middle fingers can be touching and the other hands are nice and open. Okay. And I'd like you to close your eyes. Make sure you're nice and comfortable. And we're just going to watch the breath. So as you breathe in, you'll notice as you breathe in, the, the hands slightly come apart. And then as you exhale, you're breathing out. Breath is going out through the nose. So you're breathing in as you breathe in. Make a nice big breath in and exhale. And I want you to imagine that underneath your hands, it's like a big balloon. As you breathe in, you fill up that balloon with energy. And as you exhale, you're just letting the balloon deflate.
And as you do this, you might want to feel underneath the hands, this balloon has a colour. And that colour is anything that comes to mind. And as you breathe in and breathe in out, you breathe in this colour into your body. And take note of what colour it is. So your body will be drawing in the colour that it needs. You know, sometimes when we wake up in the morning and we get drawn to wearing a, a red shirt or a blue jumper or a pink blouse or something colourful. And it will just mean the body is just looking and realising that that colour will help to bring the energy back to balance, maybe give you some more energy maybe a calming energy, whatever the colour is. Each colour has a meaning. So just feel that energy flowing from the belly outwards and going down the legs, right down to the tips of your toes, coming right up through the upper torso, all the way up to the shoulders, down the arms to the fingers, and also down the back of the body, all the way down through the backs of the legs. The whole body is filling up with that lovely, shiny energy, the shiny colour. Imagine it's like sparkly energy coming in. And that colour is washing all the way through your body. You can do, just do this relaxation every day and you'll notice every day you do it, the colour will be different. So the next time you breathe in, taking a really big deep breath in, hold the breath, feel all that sparkle energy all the way through the body and exhale as you release. You can release your hands down onto the knees or the thighs. So if you were imagining the colour red, the red is like, is giving you a bit of energy, it's warmth, it's fire. It's also quite a grounding colour, so if you feel a little bit sort of lightheaded, sometimes the red energy can bring you down into your feet and feeling nice and grounded. It's a, a kind of a, a place where you can go, you can call it home. It's your base energy, it's your buttock energy, it's like grounding down. The next colour we'd probably would, uh, be looking at maybe is orange. And the colour orange brings in joy and happiness. It also brings in creative energy. So you might feel that you're quite a creative person. You like to draw or paint or write or sing. It's all about those art sort of gifts, the orange. And that's usually around the hip joints. So if this is relevant and you saw orange and you've got hip problems, then the orange will help to heal that space. You can just do this colour healing every day and it will really make a difference. If you saw yellow, yellow is around the digestive system and this is often about the stomach, the, the how we digest our food. It's also making us feel good. It's that sunny energy. You know when the sun's out, it makes you feel good. So it's about your self-confidence, self-esteem, feeling safe, feeling secure, feeling happy, yeah? So then we come up to the heart centre and you could see two colours here. You could see the colour green or you could see the colour pink. Both of those colours are about the heart chakra or the heart centre. So the colour pink is kind of a reassurance energy. It's like giving yourself a big hug. The green energy is the energy of balance. It's energy of nature. It's the trees, the plants all around us. And when we breathe in that colour green, it helps to strengthen our lungs and gives us that feeling of feeling, feeling well. It boosts our immune system. So green is really important um, if we need to boost up that, that energy of the, of the lung, um, lung meridian and the lung, actual physical lungs. And then we're coming up into the throat and this would be the colour blue. Not quite the colour of my t-shirt, more the colour of my leggings here, that sort of soft blue. Blue around the throat. So if you do have any throat, you know, sore throat, or you, you, you've got um, pain in the neck or anything like that, um, then that would be the colour blue. So if you saw blue, maybe it's concerning the throat. It's also about communication, how you communicate, and also how you hear. So if you've got problems with your hearing, sometimes using the colour blue helps to clear that space. 
And then we're moving into sort of the, the colour purple, which is kind of up in the eyes, and it's the energy of our intuition, it's our, our thoughts, our mind stuff. So it's a nice colour to use before you go to bed. You could think of lavender, this beautiful colour around the third eye, around the eyes, around the forehead, will help to release any headaches. And then if you saw just white energy, that's usually the top of the head and all the way around the body. So if you mixed all the colours of the rainbow together, it creates white light. So if you saw white light, white light is clarity, it's the energy of clearing space, a detoxing could be. Um, it might be that you just need to just sort of cleanse away, a bit of a, more water maybe. So all these things could be quite helpful when you work with colour. So the next time you're sitting in your chair and you want to just relax, just placing your hands here and just connecting to the centre of your body and just focusing on your breath and bringing in that colour. And the next time you do it, I guarantee it will be a different colour. So thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the session. I'm going to be videoing quite a few sessions. Um, so a lot of these you can do the first practice and then you could also carry on and do the, the second practice if you wanted a longer video and then do the relaxation at the end. I've done it to about 20 minutes or so, half an hour, so it's doable for most people. If you find that the, the exercise is too much for you, you might just want to sit and watch the video because then you're still getting that feeling of you participating in a class. Um, I'd love to see you at one of my classes um, at some point. It'd be lovely to see you. Um, my name's Libby. My channel is Naturally Libby 1111 on YouTube. If you do have the YouTube channel, there is a subscribe button at the bottom of the, the channel. If you hit that channel, if you hit the subscribe, it will just notify you when I'm actually putting up videos. Um, if you hit the little bell icon, it will actually tell you immediately that I've, I've actually uploaded a video and you can go straight to that video and watch it. Please like, please share and please subscribe and please keep coming back to the videos and enjoy the work of, of yoga and Qigong and uh, just, just be kind to yourself and just look after yourself. Lots of love everybody. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you. Bye.